Hey guys, Brian here with Thunder Laser USA. Um, this is kind of an impromptu video. I'm going to try to do it in one take. And uh, I'm going to show you how to connect your Thunder Laser DSP machine, your gantry machine, Odin and uh, Nova, via ad hoc Ethernet connection directly to the computer. So from the laser directly to the computer. A lot of Macs and a lot of the newer computers don't have a physical Ethernet port anymore. So it may be you that you need to get one of these inexpensive USB to ethernet dongles. And that's what we're gonna use today. So I'm gonna go over a few little things and then we're gonna dive right in. Uh, I just wanted to cover a, a couple of topics. When, um, when you go do a search for ethernet uh, in our knowledge base, a lot of uh, different things come up, but I'm gonna boil this down and show you how to do it in just four steps. So, um, it's a good idea to watch this article or this video in its entirety, uh, and then go back, uh, and then try to follow along if you want to. So step one is going to be to find the IP range of your computer's primary network. And if we go back here, I'm just going to go in the windows environment and I'll show you Mac in just a minute. They're going to be very similar. It's almost identical. The process, it just looks a little different. So I'm going to open up a windows search and go to network connections. I'm just going to type network in the search and I'm going to go to view network connections. Now, this is my primary internet connection and I'm going to double click that. And when I do that, I'm going to go into details and I can tell that the IP address of my computer, uh, this primary network is 192.168.50.135. So, what we're looking for here and let's go look at the mac and we can kind of see the same thing we're going to go into system preferences into network and uh, that's going to be this wi-fi connection and in mac it's right here so my ip address here is 192.168.50.40 now the important thing to remember whether you are on windows or on mac is that if your ethernet address for your computer is anything but 192.168.1. something if it's anything other than that you don't have to do anything to the laser if you haven't changed the ip address already so i have to, if your internet was or your primary network was 192.168.1. something then we need to make some changes to the lasers ip address so that we don't have a conflict so that will take us into step two and step two is to check and set the lasers ip address if your primary ip address is in that 192.168.1 range then you're going to want to change the laser's IP address to 192.168.2.100. If it's not in that range, then you can leave it alone and it should already be at 192.168.1.100. So we're going to go over to the Odin's control panel or HMI. And to check this, you're going to hit menu and you're going to scroll down to IP config. And hit enter and if you'll notice i do have the default ip address here i can use it because my primary connection does not start with 192.168.1 should you need to change that third octet from a one to a two the way you navigate this is use the left and right arrows i'm sorry use the menu key to move from octet to octet and then the left and right arrows move the cursor within that field so we just need to be under the one and we're going to go up and we're going to make that a two and then hit enter to make the system changes. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to drop it back and just escape back out because mine is good the way it is. And that is going to take us into step three, which is to set up the computer Ethernet uh, for a manual static IP address. Um, now you're going to, you're going to make it 192.168.1.101 if you're using the default laser IP, or it's going to be 192.168.2.101 if you had to change the laser's IP address because of uh, a conflict error. So in order to demonstrate that, 
let's go back to the PC. And I'm going to close this and close this. Now, here's my primary internet. I'm going to plug in my dongle. And when I do that, I'm going to have another ethernet connection here. And it's going to try to identify, but it's not going to do anything. So what we need to do, and this is the PC environment, I'll show you the Mac in just a minute. I'm going to double click. And when this comes open, I'm going to go down to properties. And then the properties tab will open, and then you're going to find this Internet Protocol version 4, TCP IP v4, and double click it. Make sure you don't just click it once and uncheck it. You want to double click it, and that will open up this. Now, we need to change from getting an IP address automatically and make it manual. And according to what we just talked about, I'm going to make this one 192.168.1. One dot one zero one, and the subnet mask should fill in itself. That's really all you need to do. You don't even need to put a gateway, and then you just hit OK. And I'm going to connect now over to the MacBook, and you'll probably see that thing just pop up this USB LAN, and it shows not connected, uh, but we're going to double click it. And right now it says using DHCP. You have a couple of choices here. You can choose DHCP with manual address or using boot P or manually. You want to choose manually. Once you do that, we're going to go in and change that IP address, 192.168.1.101. It's the same as we did before. This subnet mask in the Mac will not auto-populate, so you're going to type in 255.255.255.0. And then hit Apply. Now, once we do that, that's going to take us back over to step four. And step four is to input the laser IP we got in step two into Lightburn. So let's switch over to Lightburn. And I'm going to go into my devices. And I already have this one set up. If you don't, you can set it up while you do it. But I'm going to go in here and get to this part. And this is where we're going to type in the IP address of the laser. If it's still the default, like we talked about, it's going to be 192.168. And in Lightburn, I do this. Dot zero zero one dot one zero zero. If you changed your laser IP address because of a uh, primary network conflict, if you changed the laser IP address to 192.168.2.100, you will make that in here. It would be 192.168.002.100. And then we hit next and OK and OK and finish. And it will show found Thunder Laser here at the bottom. And if you need to refresh this down here for some reason, you can ping the machine by hovering over the Devices tab and right-clicking. It'll go out and ping the device and show you that it has been found. And that's pretty much all there is to an ad hoc connection. I hope this helps. If you have any trouble, you can email support at thunderlaserusa.com. And uh, we'll get you taken care of. If you have any hurdles, we'll be glad to assist. Thanks.